area. Now this is the second and last measure of two dimensional shapes that we'll deal with in this course. Once we finish these, we'll move on to talk about circles, which are still two dimensional shapes, but they do have so many special properties that they require their own video. Here's your checklist. Try to write down your understanding of square units and then try to commit all the area formally to memory. Let's begin the lesson. The area is the amount of space occupied by a flat shape. Let me show you what I mean. So here we have a rectangle and the area is the amount of space that the rectangle takes up on this blue surface. Another way you could think about the area is that it would be the amount of paint required to color the rectangle. So let's say we wanted to color the rectangle yellow. If we were to divide up the rectangle into squares of one centimeter by one centimeter, then we would find our area is 21 of those little squares. You can pause the video and count them if you'd like. Okay, so the area is 21 of these little squares, but to avoid having to write squares all the time, we write this centimeter squared notation. But effectively, they mean the same thing. Let's see some examples. In the examples, we'll be using the area formally. You'll definitely need to memorize these for the exam, so make sure that you set aside lots of time to do that. Okay, so the area of a rectangle is the product of its length by its width. In this case, that would be three centimeters by seven centimeters, and this gives us 21 centimeters squared, just like we had before. Now the area of a square is also given by length by width, but since the length and the width are the same size, you could just square the side to get the correct answer. So here I have width by width, which is three by three, and this gives nine centimeters squared. The area of a parallelogram is given as breadth by height. Breadth is just another word for width, and the height required is the line perpendicular to the top and bottom lines. In this example, breadth by height is 19.4 by 13, and this gives 252.2 centimeters squared. Next, we have the triangle, and the area of a triangle is given by one half times the base of the triangle times its height. In this case, that gives us one half by four times six, and that's 12 centimeters squared. And lastly, we have the trapezium. Its area is the average of the parallel lines times the height h. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe here if you want to get the latest from the Caribbean Scholar YouTube channel, or if you're ready, you can use the link in the description to hop onto our website and sign up for one of our premium courses.